In this video, I will show you how to set up text message automations in Go High Level. So first, I'll show you how you can just create automated workflows. And then I'll also show you how you can use an AI chatbot with SMS messages and how you can train the AI chatbot. Now, first of all, you will need to go in and create your Go High Level account and sign into your sub account. If you haven't yet created your Go High Level account, you can sign up through the link down in the description and claim this extended 30 day free trial instead of the usual 14 days. After signing into your sub account, first I'll now show you how you can create a workflow or automation where you send a message or maybe even multiple messages. To do this, just head into the automation section and click create workflow and just gonna start from scratch. Now first you will need to add a new trigger for the workflow. So that's basically when does the message need to be sent. For example, when a contact is created, it could also for example be when somebody has submitted a form or even when somebody has submitted a Facebook lead form or a TikTok form. Now it can also be when someone clicks on a specific link or any of the other triggers that you see right here, such as customer booked an appointment, an affiliate is created or really any of this stuff. And you can also connect it to other tools such as Shopify, where you can say order placed, for example, what I'm just going to do is select Facebook lead form submitted. And then here you need to select for which page. So you will need to go in and connect your page. Now you can also add multiple triggers. For example, if I want to do the exact same thing when a TikTok form is submitted, then I can also add that trigger and maybe the same thing for when a general form is submitted. So then you can add an action. Now this is where you can start using the SMS automations. So when you scroll down a bit and go to communication, you can see send SMS. Now from here, when you click send SMS, you can then see the action name. So for example, this SMS, and there are a few pre-made templates. I'm not going to use those. So instead you can just write a message that you want to send. You can also personalize it by using custom values. For example, I will write hi and then click on this icon. And then here I'll go to contact and then first name. So hi, first name. So that will be populated automatically. Hi, first name, then whatever you want to write. For example, thank you for submitting the form. Do you have any questions or would you like to book in an appointment? Anything like that. Then you can also add an attachment and you can add files through a URL. Then you can click save action. And now when any of this stuff happens, you automatically send them an SMS. Now you can go a lot further with this. For example, if I click plus right here, I can then scroll down a bit and then I can use a condition. So for example, in internal right here, you have if and else, you can also choose to wait. So what I'm going to do is start with wait. So I will wait for, let's say 60 minutes and then click on save action. So I send this SMS, then wait for 60 minutes. And then here go with if and else. So the condition and then here are the scenario type. So you can build your own. You can choose availability has a tag, last appointment or any of these other ones. I'll just build my own. And then here basically you can set up an if and else. So if this contact has that, then do this and otherwise do that. Now for me, it actually makes sense to do the wait after I do the thing before that. So for example, did they reply yes or no? And then if yes, then this, if no, then that. Now you can just go and build this out however you like. And there are some pretty advanced things you can do. For example, you can use AI. So if you scroll down quite a bit, you can see GPT powered by OpenAI, or you can use Elisa AI appointment booking or send to the Elisa agent platform. So you can also just go and build this out or you can add from here a manual action where you start messaging the prospect. So then you can just click save and test the workflow. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is how you can send messages automatically with AI. So for example, you can add a live chat widget to your website where people can reach out through SMS, or maybe you have added your phone number to your website where people can just send you a message and you would like to have AI close the appointments from those messages or just do general Q and A and answer questions. So more of a support role. Then if you want to do that, just go and click on settings and here you go conversation AI. 
and then click go to v2 so they've recently launched the second version and you can see there's already a general support bot but if you click create bot you can choose what you want the bot or ai to do so you can have it as general q a so more of a support role or actual appointment booking for example i'll say appointment booking and you can read what exactly it does you can also start from scratch to create your own custom bot then once you click continue, you can give it a name and most importantly, you can set it to autopilot. So that means it will send messages automatically. You can also choose suggestive. So that means it will just recommend messages. Then for the supported channels, you can set up SMS and a chat widget through SMS chat. Then in a second, I'll show you how you can train the bot. But first right here, you can choose a wait time before responding. So if you make it zero minutes, then it's pretty clear that it is an AI bot if it will respond within zero seconds. So I recommend just doing one or two minutes. Then you can also choose the maximum amount of messages a bot can send in a conversation before a human takes over. And you can set the bot to sleep when I send a message manually or through a workflow. Now, once you go to bot training right here, you can actually train the bot. And this is really simple. What you want to go to do is just upload your URL right here. And basically you just want to refer to your website and then it will look at your opening times, available booking times, and then the bot can start sharing links and information and answer any questions that are mentioned on your website. Now, if there's a question that gets asked often, but the information is not on your website, they can just add that as a Q&A here. So a question and an answer and then save it. And then when somebody asks that question or something similar that means the same thing, then it will give that answer. Then here you can just test your bot and see if it works properly. You can also set bot goals so you can see the prompt right here. So personality, intent, additional info and more. Now you can also change this by just clicking on it. So the intent is set to your goal is to get the customer to book an appointment. You can also change it to something else if you'd like, and you can add stuff that it should avoid, for example, using emojis and any other stuff that you would like to enter. So then once you click save and you then set up an SMS chat on your website where you use this AI chatbot, or maybe you just connect it to your normal SMS number in the phone number section right there. Then it will also start sending messages and you can just follow along and also send messages yourself in the conversation section right here. So that's another way that you can automate SMS or text messages using Go High Level. Now again, if you would like to claim this extended 30 day free trial, for Go High Level, you can go and sign up through the link down in the description. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.